Hasab Pay tries to help people receive funds wherever they are uh, in the world. Uh, we particularly focus on very difficult uh, jurisdictions, areas where there might not be any banks. While the traditional banking sector was working before the Taliban took over, only 6% of the population had a bank account, yeah? And of that 6%, a small fraction of that was women. And so digital financial services had never worked in Afghanistan. Hisab Pay is the first time that an interoperable digital payment system has worked in Afghanistan. And the only infrastructure we need is a phone and a connection to the internet. That's one of the sort of the key things that Algorand's brought to this equation, that we don't require these centralized institutions in Afghanistan, which aren't functional. We never had telephone lines, you know, strung across the whole country, you know, linking house to house or building to building. Um, due to the past, you know, 40 years of um, war. So when um, telephone did come to Afghanistan, it, we went straight to 3G. We kind of leapfrogged over that whole, you know, process of an antiquated uh, system. So similarly for banking, this is a really kind of critical moment um, for a lot of people that didn't have that previous system, you know, to rely on, that they can leapfrog over all those challenges and go straight to something that's cheaper, faster, more efficient. What Hisab Pay brought into the picture was to say, all right, hey, we're going to sign you up. 45 seconds, we're going to take a picture of a QR code. Here's your plastic card. Every month, you're going to get funds directly on that card. You don't need to come here to this you know, long center and wait in line. You can go straight to a shop. And we found out that there were so many other benefits, not only you know, time saving, but there was a sense of dignity. We knew we wanted a blockchain. We wanted something secure, reliable, scalable, you know, resistant to hacking, all these wonderful benefits of immutable blockchain. However, when we started, the cost of running or processing transactions was enormous. And those costs got way out of hand. And that's when we learned of Algorand. And then we migrated everything over. And now there's not a single penny that we pay for processing feeds and running nodes and servers and all these, because everything's handled cheaper, faster, more efficiently on the Algorand um, and blockchain, which is scalable enough that we don't have to worry about, okay, now we have to you know, add another country. How, you know, what do we do with our, our you know, financial ledger? We have over half a million uh, users. Um, they're transacting currently 3 billion Afghani a month. They're using it not only you know, transfer money peer to peer, but also to pay their you know, home electric bills. 250,000 households a month use it uh, you know, for that. They use it to buy airtime. Over you know, 3 million transactions have been uh, completed just for airtime uh, purchases. And then yes, now we're happy to say we're expanding with both MasterCard and MoneyGram. So MasterCard enables someone to then pay directly from their phone or with a physical card to a shop or buy something online if they want. And MoneyGram allows them to receive funds internationally. Hisab Pay was built by Afghans for Afghans. And one of the key things that we wanted to do when we were designing Hisab Pay was to bring dignity back to the humanitarian experience. When you've been struck by a disaster and you're traumatized, you know, the way that humanitarian assistance is often delivered is pretty undignified. We wanted to make it dignified and fast, particularly for women in Afghanistan. And I think that's one of the things we've really achieved. 